Learn Persian with Chai and Conversation Lesson 5. Hello and welcome to Learn Persian with Chai and Conversation, the podcast for anyone looking to learn conversational Persian. My name is Leila and I'll be your teacher for the course. And my name is Matt and I will be learning Persian along with you. Chai and Conversation will teach you conversational Persian in weekly lessons of about 15 minutes each. If you know anything about Iranians, they don't do anything without first grabbing a cup of tea, or as they call it, chai. So pour yourself a cup and join us in learning the Persian language. Hello everyone and welcome back to Chai and Conversation. Esme man Leila Hast and I am the teacher for this course. Esme man Matt Hast. And I am the student in this course. We hope you've been enjoying the past few lessons of Chai and Conversation. If you're new to the program, be sure to listen to the previous lessons before diving into this one. Chai and Conversation is for those who are beginners and completely new to the Persian language. As you listen to the programs, we'll be with you every step of the way of learning the Persian language. When you are getting to know someone you're not familiar with, One of the best ways of getting to know each other is by speaking about yourself and asking them questions. Over the past few weeks, we've been learning just that. How to greet people, to introduce yourself, ask others how they're doing, say where you're from and where you're living, etc. This week, we will be learning how to talk a bit about your family. In the next few weeks, we will cover how to talk about your job and how to introduce different facts about yourself. Over the past few weeks, we've been receiving so many encouraging emails and feedback from you, our listeners. Please help us by doing what you can to spread the word, either by posting a link to our website, to your Facebook or Twitter, or even just old-fashioned emailing your friends about the program. Also, please keep the feedback coming. It's so helpful to know what you think. For now, let's get right on with it and learn about how to introduce different members of your family. Are you ready for the lesson, Matt? Ready. Great. For Sia Begirim, ba chai and conversation. So today we are going to talk about families. Sometimes this is the best way to get to know people, to talk about your family. We're going to begin by introducing various members of your family, and let's begin with the word baradar. Baradar. This should sound very familiar to you, and it is a good example of the fact that Persian comes from the same Indo-European roots as English. As you can probably tell, baradar is very similar to the English word brother. Baradar. Baradar. Exactly. So, baradar means brother. Next, we learn the word for sister, and unfortunately, this has nothing to do with the English word sister. The Persian word for sister is khahar. Khahar. Almost. The second sound is just a ha. Khahar. Khahar. Much better. So we have baradar. Baradar. And khahar. Khahar. Baradar. Baradar. And khahar. Khahar. So, brother, baradar, and sister, khohar. Now let's think about the word for mother. This is another word very similar to the English mother, or even the Spanish madre. The word for mother in Persian is madar. Madar. And the word for father is pedar. Pedar. Again, these words are all from the same roots. Father in English. Padre in Spanish, and in Persian, pedar. Pedar. Great, so we have baradar. Baradar. Khohar. Khohar. Madar. Madar. And pedar. Pedar. Now let's add four more words in this vocabulary set. First, shohar. Shohar. And shohar is the word for husband. And then there's zan. Zan. Zan can mean woman, but it also means wife. 
Zan. Zan. And the word for son is pesar. Pesar. This could simply mean boy, but used in context, it could mean son. And the word for girl or daughter is dochtar. Dochtar. I do hope, listeners, that you took heed of our advice in the very first lesson and practiced the ch sound as much as you could. Hopefully, if you've been practicing it every day, now by lesson five, you should have gotten it. So again, son is pesar. Pesar. And daughter is dochtar. Dochtar. Pesar and dochtar. Now we're going to learn how to say my mother or my brother or my sister or my father. To say this in Persian is very simple. Listen carefully. To say my mother, you say Madare man. Madare man. Man, as you remember at this point, is the word for me. In English, when you want to link two words together or identify something as being yours, as we were doing in the example of Mother, you simply say, my mother. In Persian, however, the two must be linked together in speech as well. This is why we add the e sound to the end of mother. Madare. So to link mother with me, we say, madare man. Madare man. Great. And listeners, can you work out what my father would be when my father is pedar? Matt? Pedare man? Exactly. Pedare man. Pedare man. Great. And now my brother and my sister? My brother would be barodare man. And my sister would be... Khohare man. Great. Khohare man. Khohare man. Khohare. Khohare. So again, barodare man. Barodare man. And khohare man. Khohare man. Just remember the second sound is just a he. It's not a he. So khohare man. Khohare man. Perfect. You got it. So now how would you say my son? Son is pesar. Pesare man. And dochtar is daughter. So my daughter would be dochtare man. Great. And Matt, do you remember from the previous lesson what the word for and is in Persian? Va. Great. So to say my brother and my sister, you would simply say barodare man va khohare man. Barodare man va khohare man. Exactly. Barodare man va khohare man. Pedare man va madare man. Pesare man va and now let's learn how to introduce someone to a family member of yours. Say you're in a room and your sister is standing right next to you and you would like to point out that she is your sister. In order to do this, I need to explain something. The Persian language is slightly tricky in that spoken Persian is quite a bit different than written Persian. Bear with me here. To say this is my sister in written Persian, you would write in khohare man hast. In means this, and hast, as you've learned before, means is. When you're speaking in casual conversation, in khohare man hast gets shortened to in khohare mane. Because we're focusing on casual conversation, let's forget the written form and concentrate on the spoken form. So repeat after me, Matt. In khohare mane. In khohare mane. Exactly. So this is a very informal, casual way of just pointing and saying, this is my sister. In khohare mane. In khohare mane. Using the same rules to introduce your brother, you would say, in barodare mane. In barodare mane. Meaning, this is my brother. Okay, listeners, how would you say, this is my wife? Wife being zan. In zane 
Mane. In zane mane. And this is my husband. In shohare mane. In shohare mane. Exactly. Now, when you're introducing someone older than you, this changes slightly to reflect the formal speech. To introduce your father, for example, you would say, Ishun pedare man hastand. Ishun is a gender neutral term for this person. Technically, it is the plural form, they, but it is used in formal speech to imply respect. Hastand means are, so literally you're saying, they are my father. Repeat after me, Matt. Ishun pedare man hastand. Ishun pedare man hastand. Ishun pedare man hastand. Ishun pedare man hastand. So literally you are saying, they are my father. Now, using the same rules of written Persian versus spoken Persian, Ishun pedare man hastand gets reduced to Ishun pedare manand. Ishun pedare manand. Exactly. So again, Ishun pedare manand. Ishun pedare manand. And by the same token, Ishun Modare manand. Ishun modare manand. Exactly. So again, Ishun pedare manand. Ishun pedare manand. Ishun modare manand. Ishun modare manand. Now, listeners, we are going to test your knowledge of everything we have learned so far. Remember that you can re-listen to the podcast several times and you can look at all the bonus materials we have on the website to help you to come to learn all these materials. If you can remember and repeat all the following phrases, you are doing well with the materials we've learned today. So let's try it. Listeners, first, how do you say, this is my brother? In barodare mane. In barodare mane. Ali. Second, how do you say, this is my father? Ishun pedare manan. Exactly. Number three, this is my daughter. This would use informal speech. In dochtare mane. In dochtare mane. Ah, sant. Number four. This is my sister. In khohare mane. Exactly. And number five, this is my husband. In shohare mane. In shohare mane. Exactly. Now, when you've introduced somebody, one thing you might want to do right away is to introduce their name. If, for example, Matt, you have introduced your wife and you want to say her name is Laudan, you say, Esmesh Laudane. Esmesh Laudane. Great, and this is actually true for Matt. Now, I want to note that again, we are learning casual speech here. The proper way to say her name is Laudan would be to say, Esmesh Laudan hast, but no one speaks that way in real life. If you spoke the way things are written, you would stand out as a foreigner trying to learn the language or you'd be made fun of. That is not our goal here. In fact, there are comic characters in Persian television that were funny for exactly that reason. So we don't want to be comic characters. We want to communicate effectively in spoken Persian. So again, her name is Laudan gets condensed to Esmesh Laudane. Esmesh Laudane. And combined, you would say, In zane mane, esmesh laudane. In zane mane, esmesh laudane. Great! Hopefully that's super simple stuff. Now, let's say you have a brother named Bob. You would say, In barodare mane, 
اسمش بابه این برادر منه اسمش بابه Exactly, although as far as I know, Matt doesn't really have a brother named Bob. Now, to introduce someone in a formal way, so someone who is older than you, you would say esmeshun instead of esmesh. So, for example, you would say ishun madare manand, esmeshun mariame. What does this mean, Matt? means this is my mother. Her name is Mariam. Exactly. So try repeating that. It's a sort of long phrase. Ishun madare manand. Ismishun mariame. Ishun madare manand. Ismishun mariame. So, so far in this lesson, we've learned how to say the word for different members of the family. Madar, pedar, khahar, barodar, dukhtar, pesar, zan, and shohar. We also learned how to introduce different members of your family by saying, this is my, and then filling in with the member of the family you are introducing, and how to introduce their name. We hope you enjoyed the program. Learning a new language is never easy, but we hope that we've made it as painless and fun as possible. As we've mentioned before, In addition to the free podcast, we have bonus materials on the website which hopefully make learning the language even more enjoyable. One of the most helpful of these bonus materials is the PDF guide, which explains everything we have learned in detail and helps you visualize the words we are learning spelled out phonetically in English. We are focusing on spoken Persian, so while we include the words written in Persian script on the PDF guides for your information, We focus mainly on spelling them out in English scripts so that you can understand the words and learn them as quickly and efficiently as possible. You can also listen to the podcast several times throughout the week to get a better grip on the material. The enhanced podcasts included in the bonus materials on the website also feature the words we have learned using flashcards. These are also very helpful when learning the language. We have mentioned that there is a small fee to accessing the bonus materials on the website. There's quite a bit of cost and time that goes into preparing these podcasts, and we hope that you will consider supporting us by purchasing the bonus materials for a nominal fee. We would like to mention, however, that the podcast will always be free. We hope that you enjoyed the lesson and that you will be back next week for another lesson in conversational Persian. And until then, Khuda Hafez from Leila. And Ta Bad from Matt.